Yeah, uh, my name is Kuju Kuju. Uh, yeah, people not for me, you know me at sea for my, but um, I'm going to my traditional land. Um, the work that I'm doing at the moment is agriculture, and agriculture is actually looking at um, reverting the rainforest when using traditional bush foods, but also looking at um, traditional bush foods in um, in an urban landscape as well as matching up all the corridors and linking all the corridors that are in an urban situation um, linking them with the rainforest itself as well. Okay. And um, could you maybe uh, explain how, uh, how, you came, how you came into getting involved with this work? Um, what sort of inspired you to go down this, this path? Well, I was at a conference we were, um, about 14 years ago and my partner um, Jenny Lynch, we were at, both at the same conference where we were talking about um, utilising rainforest and wood food products and stuff, and she was asking me if he was doing it. And so, said, yeah, we do it, but we only do it on a cultural or tribal um, And uh, so we got together like another 14 years later and we came up with the idea of agriculture. And Agriculture was actually looking at uh, the food source and the bush foods and the medicine plants and actually going out and to really put a database together for all those products. But one thing that led me to go into it even further was I had a stroke. And because I had a stroke, the doctor actually said to me, Western food is killing you and Western food is killing the people. So I thought, wow, after this, Gonna need to go back into the rainforest and start looking at some bush foods and bush medicines, and so continue that journey to do that. And so we looked at doing a nursery, which we got in our backyard as well. So we put that together, but we also looked at the possibilities of bringing back the native wildlife as well. So it's not just the food and for ourselves, but also reconnecting food for the native wildlife that are there, and some of them are becoming rare species. So we were looking at wanting to replant back in the rainforest to actually help those species to, um, I suppose, be more custom and have that product there for that food. So it was not only food for us, but food for, for nature. And um, where would you like to see um, the agriculture Projects? Uh, do, do you have do you have a sort of future uh, sort of five year plan, or do you see something, or is there a project that you're particularly working towards at the moment that you'd like to see realised? Yeah, well, what we're actually looking at is probably getting a bit of eco balance, because at the moment people take natives and any natives from around Australia and plant them in different areas, and that actually disengages the balance of nature, and so. We want to make people aware in Australia that a particular plant is really from this area. And if it's not in the area that it's from, then the plants or the native plants and animals from that region aren't being helped to survive. So if you took a plant, say, from um, Western Australia and brought it over here to Queensland and stuff, um, the balance, the imbalance is just not there because then the native animals that are here for the first couple of years would probably not go anywhere near that plant until they got used to it and found out what it was. But then that particular plant might need to regenerate an ecosystem on the other side you know, of Australia. And so we've been doing this now for, for a while, for the last 250 years. Um, since um, British colonisation here, where they brought their plants from overseas as well, that are here. But now some of those plants are becoming notable weeds. And so there's the old thing of they become feral weeds, feral, feral animals and stuff like that. But we're trying to get that equilibrium and that balance back in nature. So here in Brisbane, you know, if we look at, to look at the urban landscape, Great, but try to prevent some of the natives. Fukai today. Um, what were your thoughts on the on the e Cook Grow project? And um, did, was there anything in particular that stood out today that you were that you feel like in the future you might you know collaborate with or 
um, sort of inspired you? Um, every presenter that we're here today, I, I think, um, had things that inspired me in looking at um, different ways of looking at food, and especially within their region. Um, now, Daisy from Hong Kong, seeing you know how they're looking at the issue of waste and food waste as well in the area, and how they can combat that, and looking at the population, and also to add to with Seattle and what they're doing there. Um, there's a lot of things that, um, you know, in on a global atmosphere, a lot of people are looking at how do we improve the way we either eat or how we look after the waste that we are putting out into the environment. And, and also looking at healthy foods and making it healthy. And um, I can name the concept of Czechoslovakia. Uh, Makita. Makita, yeah. Makita actually, her um, food with hot, you know, food sauce and stuff like that, now hot carrot, you know, like sauce. I think that was amazing mm -hmm. because um, I saw the joy by look, looking at it, what she's done with homeless people in preparing and making their own sauce, the joy they got out of it on their faces. So it's, it's sort of healthy. So there's the part of food helping us in, in being healthy as well, but the food also helping the environment and not just the environment here, but also global. So there's lots to talk about, you know, in regards to um, food and what Jazz was saying and reflecting on the actual project. Um, it's amazing and I can't wait till um, the project's completed, if it ever will be completed, because I think it's a continuum. We we'll just keep going and bigger and broader. But um, no, it was great. Awesome. Great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.